Hey everyone, we are at Buena Ventura Golf Course in Ventura, California, playing the front nine. This is the first shot of the day. I wasn't able to hit some practice balls beforehand. Um, ended up with a decent shot off the tee. Um, a little off the toe, uh, that's been my miss lately. And ended up uh, in the left rough over there. Uh, not too bad of a shot. All right, for this shot, um, left rough is actually pretty thin, so not really rough. It's kind of like fairway. Uh, so had a decent lie, had about 120 in hitting pitching wedge. Um, so second actual shot of the day. I've been most chipping and putting beforehand, but this shot ends up a little bit short, um, just off the green on the fringe. Uh, but a decent strike, still off the toe, still my miss. Uh, but we're close to dancing. Like a little short. So we're just off the green. Um, pretty decent putt. Uh, probably about 25 feet or so. Um, I did get a few practice putts beforehand, but I was not uh, prepared for how quick they act, these greens actually are. And uh, you'll see this this ball just is flying towards the stick hits the stick and thank god it was there because <laughs> man if i had missed it that would have been probably five ten uh, five to eight feet past the hole uh, so we get by uh, the first hole with a tap in tap in par always like those funny thing about this round is that we were actually playing behind a u.s kids golf tournament um, and the group in front of us were these two kids, probably about like 13. Um, they were playing a playoff, and they actually <laughs> uh, were in that playoff for like the next four holes or next three holes, something like that. Uh, and we were waiting on the tee for about 20 minutes. Uh, and, and the cart that you see there that I get distracted by is uh, a few parents um, going up to, to check on, <laughs> on their kids. Uh, so um, we were, uh, the group I was in, we were pretty frustrated. And, uh, you know, this is the first shot after 20 minutes of waiting. Uh, so body's already cold, trying to stay warm. And uh, my miss has been off the toe, draw, pull, draw, hook. And that is exactly what we get here. Um, and I'm kind of put in a, in a weird spot. Um, I was contemplating... Uh, going going right, trying to hook it around, but I decided to go left and just try to hit a punch six iron. I haven't really practiced these much, um, and so uh, I I, I kind of got caught off guard with how high this came up. Um, ended up hitting the tree, uh, but it got through, and I ended up having a decent shot in. So I have about 78 yards here using my 54 degree I've been practicing these shots quite a bit on the range um, and I wanted to land this around 75 yards and have it check uh, those are the shots that I've been practicing but I actually catch this um, a bit too firm and uh, you'll see uh, after I hit the shot uh, I show the impact point on my club face and once again my miss right off the toe uh, but this time it actually ended up being a decent shot um, and yeah, toe. there you go, off the toe. So here we are, um, just on the green, so I have a chance to save par, uh, which is a good thing. Um, I've been working on a new green reading technique. Um, you can't see me there, but I'm trying to look for this straight putt, uh, kind of what Jordan Spieth does. Uh, and, I mean, he's been great from outside of 20 feet, so I'll take any advice from him. And uh, this 15-footer is, is pretty quiet. Uh, there's only a slight break. I think I'm aiming at the dark spot on the left of the hole on this camera angle. Um, and my green speed, uh, my putting speed, um, is matching much better with this green speed on this putt. Um, and it, it turns at the last second and drops in for par. So I was pretty happy with that. So once again, we were waiting on the tee for another probably 15 minutes this time. It's a pretty short par four, 303 yards. 
Um, I could drive it, but considering that I haven't been hitting particularly well all day, uh, I decided to pull out the hybrid, and I pretty much use this club as my driving club <laughs> for the rest of the day. Uh, so we'll we'll see where th where this ends up. I think I end up there's a bunker on the right side over there. I ended up just short of it, probably about 10, 15 yards short of it. Um, but once again, miss off the toe, push out a little bit, and it draws back. Um, and then I ended up with a, another 70 yard shot in. So I have about 79 is what I say. Uh, once again, same shot as the last hole, really. Uh, so I was trying to think uh, the same same swing thoughts and um, have some small talk there with uh, our, our group partners. Uh, they were pretty funny, uh, but they ended up leaving after the next, after this hole, actually, um, and decided to play a diff different uh, set of holes uh, because of the... U.S. Kids Golf Tournament in front of us. I decided to stick behind them and uh, just finish these nine these nine holes. Uh, so yeah, 70, 79 yards in, second shot, using my 54 degree wedge again. Um, thinking the same swing thoughts as the last hole, but I was uh, kind of scared uh, considering the last hole. I cooked it a little bit and uh, hit it off the toe, so I'm trying to fix uh, whatever swing thoughts were going through my head um, and I catch this one a little fat uh, end up hitting like a 68 yard shot or something like that uh, just chunky um, and you can see there I'm just not particularly happy so here we go we got a 15 yard chip something like that uh, I've been practicing these a lot lately uh, as you can see my arms and hands are very connected with my shoulders um, very much like Jason Day I've been trying to emulate him and I catch this one pretty good um, nice rollout a little bit just missed the hole I think I was a ball away from getting hitting the stick but end up with a, a nice three footer three to four footer for par So I end up with a nice four footer for par. Uh, I've been practicing the Gary Woodland drill where you have to make eight putts in a row from uh, varying distances, three, six, eight feet. Uh, and you know, this was just you know a repli replication of that drill. I always do my routine, uh, try to take four practice swings to get a feel for the distance and then uh, hit the putt, uh, line it up, hit the putt and this one goes in for par. So here we have a nice par five, 448 yards, hitting driver off the uh, off the tee. Uh, I've been hitting uh, okay all day, you know, uh, off the toe most of the time. Uh, so I'm I was waiting on the tee for about 20 minutes, waiting for those kids to move, uh, and uh, this shot uh, ends up being a little bit of a push fade out to the right, and actually that made the hole a little bit shorter uh, from over there. I ended up with about 170 in, so I hit about a 278 yard drive, uh, which is pretty good uh, for, for a miss. All right, I have about 170 in. Uh, I'm doing this weird arm motion thing with the club because I'm waiting for the kids in front of me to get off the green and their kid the kids and their parents to get off the green uh, they were taking their sweet time <laughs> getting off uh, but this lie I had was pretty weird the ball was above my feet uh, probably about an inch or two um, so I was I, I totally forgot about that how to play those um, so I was playing at the flag I should have been playing right of the flag so that the ball would come off and uh, draw and you'll see uh, I just yeah <laughs> snap hook uh, and almost hit the the group on the tee over there Absolutely hooked that one. so I have about 20 yards here using my 60 degree wedge kind of open the face uh, hit a nice uh, easy smooth pitch shot practicing these a lot 
Uh, probably should aim a little bit more left, so it kicked off the mound and uh, rolled towards the hole, but I end up with a decent putt for birdie. So I have about 12 feet for birdie. Um, I didn't think this putt was moving all that much, and uh, I'm trying to do my green reading. Uh, I didn't do uh, look for the straight putt uh, because I thought this was a pretty straight putt to begin with. Um, but, you know, 12 feet for birdie, good chance. Um, give myself a shot, and we'll see where this goes. As soon as I hit this putt, it broke to the right, and I kind of cooked it three feet past the hole. Probably should have hit it a little less uh, strong, but end up making the three-footer for par. Once again, I was waiting on the tee, not as long as the previous holes uh, for, for the kids to finish up, uh, but I've been, uh, I end up being behind them all day. So I uh, have about 137 in, hitting a 9-iron. Uh, really trying not to hit it off the toe <laughs> and you'll see um, I do exactly that and end up short of the bunker on the left uh, and short of the green to be exact um, shot tracer a little weird a little funky here um, but that's how the shot was too off the toe. so I'm trying to get a good look at the hole um, where, see where I can land it. It's a pretty tight lie. I have my 60 degree wedge, 15 yards. I'm trying to think the same exact shot I hit on the last hole, uh, but that doesn't exactly go to plan. Uh, the tight lie, I, I think, freaked me out, um, and I, I just bladed it and ended up blasting it through the green and into the water that's behind the hole and uh, that kind of derailed the round uh, for a bit. Uh, these next few holes aren't particularly the best. Oh, no. Yeah, I just bladed it and didn't end up well. And you can see I'm just okay. frustrated after that one, after starting so well. So I decided to just drop over here. I probably should have dropped in the same spot I took the shot in the first place uh, but decided to take a drop here ended up having to place it because it was falling uh, so I probably I also probably should have taken my 54 degree wedge uh, and used that instead because the result from using the 60 uh, isn't the best it kinda just pops up uh, checks too much and uh, doesn't really get the rollout that I wanted and it just pops up, kind of checks a bit, and doesn't really roll out. End up with about a 12-footer for uh, what is double, <laughs> double bogey. Um, so this isn't the greatest hole ever, considering uh, I was able to scramble uh, the last few holes for par. Looking back, I probably rushed this one. A little bit. Uh, I didn't really take a, f a good look at uh, the putt. Um, kind of just rushed into it. Probably frustration. But you know, I'm just still trying to have fun out there. Uh, I think I read it right. It uh, broke uh, after the hole. Uh, I think I just hit it a little bit too firm. So here we go. Uh, this one's a really short part for 259. Um, trying to recover after that triple on the last, uh, once again using the hybrid, and you know I think this is the last bad shot of the day, uh, and you'll see why in a bit. But um, I decided to change my swing, so swing thoughts on the next shot, but this one just is awful, just awful. Yeah. That I have no words for that. Yeah, I hit that one chunky and the face was wide open. Uh, so, you know, the tee's still there. I just grab a new ball, same club, and uh, stop the ground right before so that it, the, the ground doesn't pop up. Still trying to relax. Um, 
the ball actually I actually hit the ball off the tee a little bit right there uh, so I fix that and you know trying to stay calm uh, still trying to have fun and end up hitting this ball pretty good down the middle uh, definitely the best shot of the day you'll see at the end of this I am pretty frustrated so oh with uh, that first shot have about 69 yards in using 54 again uh, I'm, I'm thinking three-quarter swing so that that three-quarter swing stops right about at my shoulders um, that's about my 70 yard shot uh, and and um, you know trying to scramble uh, this one's for par so hopefully I dunk it but I ended up uh, past the pin about 15 feet overall it was a pretty good swing I felt pretty good uh, as you can see I was holding my uh, uh, pose there um, good good contact not off the toe surprisingly uh, pretty much off the center just a little bit long uh, but I'm fixing my pitch mark up there and uh, it actually got a nice uh, helping hand off the mound that I'm on spun back off to the right um, and have a 17 footer for bogey uh, tried to give myself a good look here I am uh, taking my time on reading my putts there's no one behind me now uh, the group behind me decided to move along onto a different hole uh, so I found the straight putt um, so I'm, I'm looking for my mark I think it was about a foot uh, to the right um, to my right uh, and there was actually a an, an old hole punched out uh, that I decided to uh, aim at and uh, speed was pretty good on this putt uh, taking my time here uh, speed was good and um, I just didn't give it enough gas, so I guess you can say speed was not good. Um, but I didn't get to give it a chance and uh, hit it uh, just a little soft, and it's you know a few inches away from going in. But ended up with a tap in double, uh, so that puts me at plus five for the afternoon. So here we are on hole seven, par three, kind of a long one, uh, surprising actually. Um, hitting my four iron, uh, I'm not particularly confident in hitting my four iron considering um, the shots that I was hitting earlier, but um, the last hole was kind of a turning point and you know, I hit this one pretty good uh, right off the center. Um, I don't think I caught it super clean, but I did hit it pretty good, um, ended up just the front of the green uh, I think the wind kind of knocked it down a bit so here we are uh, I think it's probably 40 feet maybe even more I, I didn't really get a good uh, ch chance to, to see how long it is but uh, fixing my pitch mark there uh, pretty long putt uphill uh, so this is a lot different from all the other putts I've hit uh, today they've all been downhill uh, or most of them have been downhill uh, so, I also thought this one was a pretty straight putt. Um, I just didn't give it enough gas, to be honest. Uh, you know, I'm on for I'm on in regulation. Uh, have a straight putt, pretty much, and it's just you know, pretty long. Didn't really give it a chance. I also think I took way too many practice swings. I try to only take four uh, swings like that, uh, but I guess I was nervous because this was a really long putt. So I actually do probably like four times <laughs> the amount of practice swings, practice putt swings I, I normally take. And, you know, it didn't help out in the end. Just still ended up way short. Uh, and didn't give myself a good look at par I have about five feet left um, I'm typically pretty good at these putts uh, but this time for some reason I, I you know I just miss it I don't know why uh, I think it lips out uh, so I 
didn't read any break. I was just hitting, I was playing the straight putt. Didn't read any break, and it lips out on the low side. Um, so that is a amateur error by me, uh, and I end up three putting for bogey on a par three. And you can tell I'm pretty frustrated uh, because that's three pretty bad holes in a row, even though I had some pretty good shots. Here we go, second to last hole of the day, uh, 288 yard par four, another pretty short hole. I mean, this front nine is pretty short. I think it's only about uh, 2,600 yards, 700 yards. So I have uh, my hybrid in my hand again, and you know, considering on hole six, I hit a pretty good uh, tee shot. Um, at least the second time around, uh, I decided to pull it out again, um, give myself a, a good yardage in. Um, I always forget if I'm recording, so that's why I step back. <laughs> so um, here we go with uh, hybrid, and uh, I hit this one pretty good once again. A little low, uh, but ends up rolling out quite a bit. So yeah, just a nice, nice uh, ten-yard draw there, uh, middle of the fairway. I almost uh, drove the fairway, and as you can see here, I am actually inside of a divot, uh, unfortunately. So uh, I don't really know how to play these. I just decided to hit this one a little bit firm. I'm 78 yards out, so I was thinking uh, like 80-yard shot, uh, just to make sure I get good contact. Uh, but this was kind of like a three-quarter swing, um, but uh, accelerated uh, normally down uh, down the swing on the downswing, and uh, I clipped this one decent. I think the divot caused it to push out a little bit to the right, and it probably probably didn't give me as much spin as I wanted to to get. But um, I end up on the fringe past the hole on the right. Uh, but, you know, it uh, gave me a good look at birdie. So here we go. We're just off the green. I actually have a good uh, line. I'm just off on the fringe, uh, but I only have, you know, six inches of the fringe to, to deal with. Uh, and this one was a little bit of a double breaker. It breaks uh, to my left at the beginning and then breaks to the right at the end. So a double breaker. Um, and, you know, I hit this one really well. I had ends up turning at the last second for birdie and there you go I'm you can see I'm pretty excited uh, after that putt so here we go last drive of the afternoon uh, I decided to pull out driver this is actually a normal uh, distance par four uh, there's a big bunker in the middle of the fairway that I decided to work off of um, and considering that my drives have been, uh, or my last few drives have been pretty good, I decided to pull out the, the big stick, and uh, I clipped this one really good. Um, this was a great drive to end on uh, for the day, and you'll see here. And I absolutely hammered this one. Hammered it down the middle. Nice draw pretty far actually that was definitely a great note to end on for the for the afternoon Murdered that one. once again I've got about 70 yards to the to the flag and using the 54 uh, kind of been my trusty club to use all day along with the hybrid and you know practice this shot quite a bit on the range like I've said before uh, so just trying to get that three-quarter swing uh, and I hit this one pretty good. Little push out to the right, uh, which is okay. And it spun back. There's a mound again. I got to work it off the mound. Spun back a bit and gave myself a 21 footer, uh, 21 foot look for birdie. So here we go. Uh, last few putts of the afternoon. Uh, gave myself a good look here for birdie once again uh, slight right to left break I think it was about a cup or two 
uh, to the right for me and uh, just didn't give this one enough gas it was looking like it was going to go towards the hole I just hit, needed to hit it a little bit more firm and there's a tap in par uh, so overall pretty good round for myself overall it was an okay day plus five for 40 on the front nine really started out the day okay and then uh, five and six kind of screwed up my round and then eight and nine were uh, some solid holes to end on so here are some of the takeaways that I uh, got from this round I really need to work on uh, my swing some more uh, get, getting it more consistent uh, chipping as well uh, that one bladed chip didn't really help out my round uh, and more practice in general uh, I mean who couldn't do with more practice overall it was a pretty good day of golf I really enjoyed making this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching.